the spray painting that I'm about to make started as like a really sick reference. I thought, wow, that's going to look so cool. But the more I've been designing it, the more I look at it and think, mm, there might be a bit more behind this. Make of it what you will. Tell me in the comments. Oh yeah, and it's very big, so we're going to need a new workspace. So I may as well talk you through what I'm doing here. If you're new to art or I've been spray painting for a little while, hopefully there's some things you can pick up and use yourself. So I start by hitting a piece of card with some black until it drips around this circle, squashing those down to create some craters. And this is going to make a moon. And I'm going to use this moon for the main source of light in this piece. Setting fire to it there, the reason I do that is because I want it to like bubble up and the paint goes slightly yellow. With the sky down, the stars flicked on, the moon stencil can come off and I'll start on these buildings. I'm using a paint scraper for these and it's pretty straightforward. I just drag the scraper from left to right, then slightly down on an angle to create a 3D effect and I make that in two layers. Next, I wanna add a tree line, and I'm just taking some black spray paint on a brush and flicking it upwards to create the trees, misting them out in the middle to create some depth, and then add in another layer. The black in this painting really just acts as filler and I lay on top of it. So I want some bigger trees here, so I create the trunks and then just use a brush with some stroking motions to the left and right to create the leaves. I do the same on the other side with a fan brush. Now I'm gonna use the spray paint to my advantage to create some white mist here, which brings me on to the next part of the foreground. This is a regular circular sponge that I use to make some bushes with black and gray. Really great effect. Now we're moving on to this 17 layer stencil of our main subjects. This piece is mostly monochrome with two elements of color in the characters. So I always start with my dark grays and work up the values until I get to the highlights at the end. And the same goes for these coloured elements with the pink and the blue. And when I started putting this text on the rock, that's when it hit me that this must mean something more. And with a squiggle mad diggle, here's the final result. Rate this in the comments, guys. Tell me what you think of the painting and tell me what you think it means. Is it just a cool piece or is there more to this?